Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Tuesday, the 9th of October. The euro is strengthening ahead of German Chancellor Merkel's visit to Greece. She'll be meeting with Greek Prime Minister Samaras and is expected to voice her support for the structural reforms that the debt-ridden nation is implementing. Meanwhile, German Finance Minister Scherbel said that Spain does not need financial aid, increasing the confusion among market participants regarding the Spanish bailout. Tomorrow, the Spanish Prime Minister Rajoy is due to meet French President Hollande. And today at 7.30 GMT, the European Central Bank President Draghi is due to testify before the Committee on Economic and Monetary Affairs of the European Parliament in Brussels. The British pound fell against the US dollar from 161.35 to 160.31 ahead of the trade balance and industrial production figures release. The Australian dollar rose versus the US dollar from 101.71 to 102.13. Meanwhile, the RBA Deputy Governor Lowe hinted more rate cuts are in the agenda, pointing to a softening yet still strong labour market. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 130.10 with a preference to end in short positions at 130. The dollar yen pivot points at 78.45 with a preference to enter into short positions at 78.45. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 101.80 with a preference to enter into long positions at 101.80. The sterling dollar pivot points at 160.65 with a preference to enter into short positions at 160.55. The dollar cap pivot points at 097.70 with a preference to enter into short positions at 097.70. Looking at commodities and indices. The oil pivot points at 90.75, with a preference to enter into short positions at 90.75. The gold pivot points at 1772, with a preference to enter into long positions at 1772. The silver pivot points at 33.75, with a preference to enter into long positions at 33.75. The US 500 is at 1460, with a preference to enter into short positions at 1460. And the UK 100 is at 5790, with a preference to enter into long positions at 5790. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And on to our market movers to watch out for. In the UK, we have the industrial output month on month in August, which is forecast to drop by 0.5%, and the trade balance in August, which is forecast to widen to minus 8.5 billion. And in Canada, we have the house starts in September forecast at 270.5 new house starts. And finally, our interesting pair of the day today is the Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar. We saw the Australian dollar has been weakening over the past few days, but managed to produce a slight rebound yesterday. However, the overall trend is still bearish, and this minor retracement should be welcomed as an opportunity for better entries in short positions. Thank you for tuning in to our daily outlook for October the 9th. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.